So the De Methodis, so the so-called De Methodis Serierum et uh, Fluxionum, is uh, perhaps uh, one of Newton's masterpieces. Uh, here it's, uh, it's a rather long tract, which is almost complete, I think. Uh, and um, here we find Newton uh, using, again, material that he had uh, used in the De Analisi, the beginning of the De Method is, is actually um, very similar to what we read in the De Analisi, even though Newton uh, extends and uh, perfections uh, the method uh, for uh, the resolution of affected equations, as he said. But uh, we go beyond the De Analisi, because here we have uh, the method of fluxions in its full extent. We have uh, uh, the rules of the direct method of fluxions. We have uh, uh, the a series of problems that Newton uh, uh, broaches. Uh, the problem of calculating tangents, curvatures, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we have also a rather developed treatment, a rather developed treatment of the inverse method of fluxions. To be brief and anachronistic, the integral calculus, if you like, and uh, uh, here Newton develops very powerful techniques for uh, squaring curves, and um, you will find at the end, um, roughly at the end of the De, De Methodis, uh, two tables of curves uh, that are, as a matter of fact, in Leibnizian terms, integral tables. That uh, I think that, that if uh, these tables uh, had been published, printed in uh, 1671, when Newton completed the De Methodis, uh, well, I think that uh, Newton would have uh, changed the history of European mathematics with this.